Question for their school district on the November ballot. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adam Rasmussen. News 9 Sabrina Lee is in studio now with a breakdown of the numbers. Yeah, Adam, the Prentice School District joins more than 100 other school districts here in the Badger State that would be going to referendum this November. In Prentice, the ask is for $1.2 million. That number applies to the school districts serving Price, Oneida, and Lincoln Counties. The ask is for four years of non-recurring spending to support operational and maintenance costs. Those include student programming, facility maintenance, and supporting staff salaries. This comes after a previous referendum was approved in 2018 to improve operating systems and the elementary school. In an informational session on Wednesday, voters said things have been a bit too vague in recent years. What's the plan? Like we've had months of this, months to prepare and plan. I mean, I've been going, this has been, this, even the referendum talk's been going on. We've had time to s set up a plan. Yep, let's get this passed. It's a band for four years, but we're going to do better in these four years. And this is how we're going to keep going and maintain the school. No one can give me a plan. Of the state's 421 school districts, nearly half have needed an operational referendum since the revenue cap was first introduced in the early 90s. Within central Wisconsin, 12 districts have done so in the last two years alone. Where we have to go for operational referendum to increase that dollar amount so that we don't have to either borrow as much or at all. I mean, that would be the, the ideal, of course. But Part of the reason so many school districts require operational referendums is because the current state revenue fund for districts just isn't keeping up with inflation. It's an issue that districts are now asking their constituents to speak to their reps about. Apparently, just hearing from board members and administrators doesn't, doesn't do it with the legislators. So pressure from the voters, the taxpayers on them, maybe we'll do something. Well, as far as property impact, homeowners would likely see an approximate rate of $849 per $100,000 worth of property value. In studio, I'm Sabrina Lee, News 9, WAOW.